What's up guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, bit of a mishmash video we've got going on here. Just gonna talk about a couple of little things I got for my birthday recently, which were gaming related. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of a box technically, which was um, which I picked up recently, which is the Super Nintendo Classic Edition carry case. Um, also wanted to quickly talk about an upcoming event that's from day of filming is less than two weeks away now. So let's give this one a go. Yeah, so first up, just wanted to have a look at a couple of things I got for my birthday. Uh, firstly was a Nintendo Switch game, which is Super Bomberman R, which if I remember right, was a release, um, sorry, a, yeah, a first release for the system, um, sort of a day one release. Reviews were pretty average at the time, people were thinking it wasn't great value for money for a full price game um, to have what it offered, but I think Konami for a change have done good and done a lot of free DLC for this to make it more of a complete game by the time you actually get it now and obviously the price has dropped significantly since its release a couple of years ago so um, you know that was from uh, my brother-in-law and his girlfriend so I really appreciate that because I'm a big Superman fan back in the day and this looks like it's got all the classic multiplayer fun that we know and love Go check out the Black Arrow Game Talk episode we did a couple of years back on uh, Bomberman Blast for the Wii, which I think is on the 360 as well. A lot of multiplayer fun. Sometimes you can't beat that couch co-op stuff. So um, yeah, Super Bomberman games, they're class, let's be honest mate, they're a lot of fun. Uh, the other thing I got was from my wife, um, and this is, actually was it from her parents? It might have been from her parents actually. Um, the comic book story of video games which um, my wife did tell me about a few weeks ago and I was intrigued by it but I'm not really sure um, exactly what it would be really able to tell a story through a uh, through comic book but um, it says the incredible history of the electronic gaming revolution and yeah I've only sort of glanced through it so far but um, it looks like it's going to be an interesting read I'm intrigued to see how, how good the source is, the material that they're using and how factual it is or if they've kind of played on some stories a little bit for a bit more drama but um, very interesting take on the history of video gaming so we'll definitely give that a read at some point. Um, quickly talk about upcoming event we've got Revival Gaming Legends coming up in less than two weeks so that's the second weekend of, no, sorry the third weekend of June. Um, myself and Rudy will be going uh, be our third year in a row going. I know it's possibly that they might be taking a break from it next year, so I really wanted to go out with a bang this year. Um, haven't really uh, looked into too much about the guests or anything that are there this year, so I'm more about the playing the arcades and um, and obviously the the stalls because um, there are a few things I want to pick up. I've got a little bit of birthday cash to put aside um, to do some pickups. Still on the lookout for F-Zero GP Legend on the Game Boy Advance. I hate searching through loose cart Game Boy Advance games at um, conventions and stuff. It's just a real pain the way they're always stacked. You proper tippy-tappy through them. It's such a pain, but I'm really looking forward, looking out to get that game if possible. Um, still looking to continue on my box complete collection of Super Mario Brothers um, sort of mainline series games. So. Yes, I've got a lot of carts and the latter games with cases and everything, but I need to go back, way back to the NES and the Game Boy games, and start over again with box versions of that. So I'll be on the lookout for decent quality box versions of them games. But yeah, me and Rudy will be there. Uh, we'll probably both be bringing our cameras along. So um, yeah, anyone who's going, let us know. Come say hi. Um, we'll do a bit of filming. Uh, we're actually going to be putting out, finally putting out our Black Arrow tour video of last year's Revival event very soon, as in before the new event, so just to get people hyped. Um, it's been a long time before I got started editing on that, but uh, we're nearly finished with that, so we'll get that out very soon. Me and Rudy will put that out on both our channels, on Black Art TV and on KD's Video Gaming, so keep a lookout for that. I'm um, going to cut the camera now and we'll go to unboxing um, this thing here. 
So my only actually real reason for getting this was how dirt cheap it had become. I think originally it was priced at um, $17.99 in Argos, um, but they dropped it down to $4.99. So I'm like well over a year later than this being released and probably even being relevant, so I don't expect a lot of views on this video. However, um, for £5 I thought it's kind of cool with what you get in it and yes, my Super Nintendo Classic's been in storage since I've moved house earlier this year. So, um, I won't talk and, and rap at the same time. Um, so, yeah, it had been put back into its box anyway. So, it'd be kind of nice to have something like this on show. I'll just unwrap this now. But yes, I thought for five pounds, I couldn't. You couldn't really go wrong. Uh, a lot of reflection there. I do apologise. Um, so yeah, SNES Classic Edition. Um, as you can see, it is very much the NTSC US version case. Um, I don't. I'm assuming they never released a, a Japanese uh, Super Famicom or PAL version of the Super Nintendo case. Uh, mainly because this one was the only one on sale in the UK that I've seen. So. Um, I'd be surprised if they did have one that was the UK one that they didn't, you know, end up selling that at Argos along with the normal thing. So let's just uh, undo this. Brute force rather than uh, scissors. So it's a nice bit of outer, nice bit of outer packaging. Um, we'll just not keep that because I'm past the point of being that much of a hoarder, just about. Um, so the back of the box, I'm sure if you can see in the lighting, it's uh, sort of an embossed Super Nintendo Entertainment System logo. Very cool. Uh, rubber grips for popping down, so I guess you can even play out of the box. And here, this is where the things get fun. You get some game sort of cardboard panels to place in the front. Um, there's three of them, but they're double-sided. So obviously they've picked some of the better ones. We've got F-Zero, um, Star Fox 2, which is obviously was a, you know, released just for that. So it's kind of cool that um, they've included that in there. One of my favorite games of all time, Super Metroid, um, Legend of Zelda on the other side, another, another absolute classic. Um, Super Mario Kart. Still very playable, sometimes the purest's favourite of the Kart Mario Kart series. And obviously, can't beat a bit of Super Mario World. Um, so yeah, just a case of you could interchangeably lock these in here. I'll need to get the cellophane off for that. Feeling pro proper blue Peter-y doing this. Um, so yeah, I'm guessing just a case of slotting it in. But yeah, they're actually quite decent and to be fair, I wouldn't be too disappointed with popping these up on the wall or something as alternatives because they are sort of plastic coated cardboard so a bit of blue tack isn't going to ruin them or anything or even a bit of tape so they're quite cool to have. Um, right, let's uh, dive into the, the actual box. Looking a lot like a US SNES, isn't it, really? Let's be fair. Kind of like a lunchbox, if anything. Right, and the inside is kind of like a flight case, really. So, um, lucky in the sense that um, US SNES Mini and the PAL version SNES Mini are kind of the same size. So it doesn't really matter, as far as the shape goes, what they've uh, done here. Um, I do actually have my SNES Classic here. So, we can pop it in and take a look. As I say, this has been in storage since I've moved, because I haven't got all my consoles out on show at the moment. In fact, the only three I have on the go at the moment are the Wii U, the Switch, and um, the Xbox 360. So, there's not been a lot of retro gaming for a little while. I do obviously have my DS's and stuff. Um, so, yep, SNES fits nice and tight in there. Um, I'm guessing the two controllers are down the sides here and you have the wire wrapped around the middle. Maybe then these ports at the end are where the USB bit goes, I don't know. I'm not sure there's a design to tell me exactly where they're supposed to go, but... I say USB, they're actually the Wii, Wii bits, aren't they? Um, 
and I'm guessing I'd wrap up a USB plug in there. I'm not sure exactly where I put a HDMI cable. Um, but yeah, they're not in this box at the moment anyway. I've probably been using the HDMI cable for something else. Um, but yeah, it's actually quite a nice in. It's all foam padded, so it would be very protected if you did take it around. Make a little killer lunchbox, to be honest, wouldn't it? If I could take all the foam stuff out. But yeah, I thought for five pounds, um, it was a thing to, you know, it was actually my wife's sort of idea to pick it up at that price because, you know, five pounds is nothing for a nice, nice collector's case for a nice little console. Um, so I was very much happy to pay just the five pounds for that rather than the nearly twenty pound, which would have been ridiculous for something that. Let's be fair, I'm not going to be taking out the house too often anyway, but um, that will sit nicely on the shelf until I get it out to play. Uh, with the SNES Classic, um, when I first got it, I played it a bit myself, and when I've had people around, we've played it a little bit, but I haven't played it for a little while, but it's a sort of there's some really good games on there that the convenience factor of playing them on this rather than the original SNES, which, um, which yeah, I've got in the house, it's just not set up at the moment. Um, you know, there really are some great games on the on the SNES Classic, so you can't really um, warrant having the SNES out until I get the CRT set up and everything. And that'll be a forthcoming video, actually, getting the, uh, the black and white CRT Ferguson portable TV up and running. I'm going to get the Atari 2600 and the NES set up for it um, to give that a test run very soon. Um, and obviously I'll do a video on that because I'll be so intrigued myself to to make sure that's all working fine because the NES hasn't had a, a, any use for a lot of years um, and the Atari 2600 the same um, they've actually been at my parents house for quite a while so it'll be really good to get them out again and play in some of the games um, that I've been collecting in the recent years for them um, I've, I feel like I'm saving a lot of the retro stuff for when my, my lad's a little older now and, and sort of introducing it to him and I think um, it'll be fun to play with him as a kid so couple more years and we'll get some proper use out of the old retro consoles anyway guys thank you for watching again um, any comments and um, likes are always appreciated but never feel obliged um, thank you for watching hopefully see you at revival in a couple of weeks and we will see you soon peace <laughs>